Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I made it earlier today. I had posted a video like this without the outline. And somebody suggested if I turn the outline to an object and and uh, I don't really understand what they do, what they're meaning, but I, I did do it and it came out pretty good. So anyway, I wasn't going to make a video just for that, but because of the fact that I had lost, I did not save this file, I had to make a new one and I kind of, if you watch the first one, I kind of uh, made a lot easier step on the interactive fill tool. So I'm just going to make a rectangle about like that, like I did in the first video. I'm going to go ahead and round it off four inches to get a perfect round. It's uh, almost eight inches across. So I can go to effects and contour. I'm going to contour the inside just two inches, which would be equal. So there's two, four, and two, basically. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to object and break the contour apart. Don't really have to do that right now, but later on you're going to have to. So I, I didn't do a very good job on this. So I'm going to try to do a little bit better. I tried to make the sweep a little bit more. Uh, I don't know if it made it any better or worse, but I'm going to use the three-point curve line, and I'm going to go from there to there. And it's it's not very easy to use the three-point curve line. I got it pretty good, but you don't want any sharp edges or stops. So I'm going to grab the shape tool, and when I do the shape tool, I can kind of expand this out and kind of look to see what it's going to look like. It's going to have a sharp edge right there. I'm going to move it down and see you can move your handles. You kind of want it to be a sweep. So that's pretty good. Now, one thing I did not do, I did not work in the center of the page. So I need to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And by doing that, I've messed up my arch. But I think I can put it right back where it was. So I should have put it in the center of the page first. Now I've got that line selected. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate and then alternate C to turn the rotation in the center of the page. Then I'm going to rotate 180 degrees. Now here's where I decided to make the new video because it's when I use the Smart Fill tool, and I'm going to go ahead and nudge this stuff over. I should have nudged it over twice. Well, you know what? That's the part of the video I'm going to show. So I'm going to just take this one and fill it in. Everything ought to be equal. So I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool or the Interactive Fill tool, swipe across. I'm gonna put a dark color up in this corner. At this time, you can see that hard corner. So you might wanna redo that. You would kinda of got a, a hard corner there, but I'm gonna leave it for now. So to try to make the other one equal, it's kind of with the exact same uh, Interactive Fill tool. I'm gonna to change my nudge factor to like to 10 and I'm gonna nudge my lines out of the way. And I'm gonna to have to nudge this back and I'm gonna nudge my lines out of the way because I want this back in the center of the page. Now I can control D, alternate C, and rotate it 180 degrees. So I didn't have to duplicate or try to duplicate. It's perfect. So now what we need to do is we're gonna take these lines. We're gonna make them a little bit thicker than a hairline. And I'm going to go at this time, I'm going to go to convert the outlines to an object. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to left click, right click. Now you see the breakage in the lines where I started. I, I, you won't want that. So now select it all and weld it. And by doing that, I got rid of those lines. Now I can fill this in with any color. I'm going to have to zoom in so I won't miss. I'm going to go in and just... I'm going to go with that green. It's okay. So now I'm going to nudge it over and get it in the center of the page more so. I'm going to nudge this over. And then all of, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make the whole thing black. Because now I'm going to get the interactive fill tool. And I'm going to go from the top or from the bottom of the top. And I'm going to put black on both ends. I might even straighten that up a little bit. Now I'm going to add white. And you could do gray, and I'm going to add white on every side of the other side of the black. So now I need to add another black. And what that's doing is kind of make it look like a maybe a ripple, of, ripple effect. And you could do gray, you could do different colors, uh, but I'm just putting a white there and then going back with black. So it's almost like a variegated line. 
It's uh, got some white marks in it. And I think it looks pretty cool when we uh, bring it back. And you could do all your whites at one time. You know, I could put another white there and then come back and put all my blacks, you know, wherever I want them. So we got our variegated line. Now, if we look at it, and because I'm nudging, I can nudge it right over back to the exact same spot. I'm going to go ahead and put a black background around it and go to object order, back a page, and you get that effect. It looks like it has a kind of a shiny ripple line on it. Anyway, the main purpose of the video was to rotate the interactive field tool so you can so they would both be equal. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit answer his question and thank you for watching.